Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I have another Ferrer Market Box for y'all again this month. The theme this month is Disney. And I've already opened one of these. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check out that unboxing too as well. But this is my second one, so let's break into it and see what it looks like. I really like getting two of these a month because it just shows how much difference in them there is. So, once you pop the top on it, this is what it looks like. They have their classic cardboard paper, which they always have. And on the inside you have... You have a bunch of Get Disney stuff. Which I already see that I have a duplicate pop from the previous box. I'm going to move the box down here out of the way. Which, it's okay, because they didn't know I get two boxes a month, so... Not really a whole lot you can do about it. Let's start with the little stuff. First up, we had one of these in the other box, too. It's a Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse Dome set. And honestly, in the last box, these are actually pretty cool. I didn't know a whole lot about them at the time, but they're not bad. I think we got the parrot, so let's hope for anything besides the parrot. So let's get it out of plastic, and I'll show you what the package looks like better so that it's not all bubbled out. Okay, once you get out of the package, it comes in this little cardboard container. But once you flatten your package out, it shows the different ones there is. And they're stackable, and they connect. So these are actually pretty cool in their classic Mickey Mouse, which is, everybody likes Mickey Mouse. I ain't never met a person that didn't like Mickey Mouse, so. And we have just a classic Mickey pose. I really wanted the goat, but I'm happy with the Mickey as well. So let's see what else we got in here. We have an iron-on patch from Lounge Fly. Just for anybody that wants to take the time to read that. There you go. It's a nice patch. It is from uh, The Little Mermaid. So that's pretty cool. Up next, we have something that is really cool. It is a metal die cast set for the Nightmare Before Christmas. These are actually really, really cool, and I know somebody that's really going to love these. It's for the 25-year anniversary. So, I know somebody that's really going to enjoy these a lot. I'll go ahead and take them out of their package and so let y'all take a look at them. Okay, now that I finally got them out of the package, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would. First up, we have a Sally. And if this will focus, focus. Focus. And I don't believe it's going to focus. So that's about the best we're going to get on the Focus. But she is actually really nice. She actually has some real nice detail in her face. But it will not focus. So we have a Sally. Then we have Jack. With all his glory. And it focused on Jack. <laughs> And then there's Jack in pajamas.
Then there's Scary Teddy. And then there's my favorite out of all of them. And that's Zero. Jack's dog. And he's got like this, I don't know if it picks it up on camera or not, but he's got like this glitter effect in his paint. It's real nice. And these are all, these are made by uh, Nano Toys. They're 100% diecast toys. So they're solid metal. Those are real nice to have in the box. So yeah, those are really nice to have. Up next we have... Funko Pop Chef from the uh, Monsters Incorporated, which this is actually a duplicate. I got this in the last Forever Market Box Disney, but that's fine. It's still a good pop. And like I said, it's not their fault. There's no way they would have knew that I had it already. So, it's still a nice pop. The box is in good condition. Here's all the other ones in the set. So I'll go ahead and take it out of the box and let y'all have a closer look at it. So once you get him out of the box, this is what he looks like, and he has tremendous detail in him. I believe that's one of the reasons I wasn't really upset is because he is so detailed. Like, I really like his little injured tentacle here where he's got bandaged up. I actually sculpted the, the braid in his bandana. He's holding a little knife. All of his suction cups are sculpted. His eyeballs have a nice sculpt on them as well. But he's just really nicely detailed. So that was Chef from Monsters Inc. And now let's move on to the next. This is the last item in the box. And it is also another Monsters, Inc. pop. It is Roz. I did not have her, so I'm happy about that. She was a real good character in the movie. She was funny. I really liked her. So now I have two of the four pops for this set. So that was good. So I'll go ahead and break her out and let y'all see what she looks like outside the box. So once you get her out of the box, this is what she looks like. And honestly, this one is really, really detailed. And i just seen something that is amazing. But I'll get to that in a second. I like a little beads on her glasses holder. Her glasses actually has a lens in them. She has a mole right here, and it's actually sculpted. Her sweater, every bit of that design is actually a sculpt. She's holding a little pencil. And now for my favorite part. On her clipboard. There is actually writing on the clipboard. Instead of it just being blank. Like there was a pop I got. Uh, the Devil Pop from Cuphead. I got this in a Shumi subscription box. And my only downfall to it. Was his cards didn't have no writing on them. That was the only downfall to that pop. And see, Disney, once again, that's why they're the best. There's actual writing on the clipboard. But she's a really nice pop, too. And the last thing to show everyone this month is their card. There's all their social media links. In case anybody doesn't have them, that's how you can contact them through social media. And also on the other side of the card is the theme for next month. And it is Rick and Morty. So everybody knows that's going to be a great box. Just like this Disney box was a great box. Ferrera Market. You can't go wrong with Ferrera Market. It's $19.99 shipped. And even a week box. Is still worth $20. Bucks. I mean this box right here. This is worth way more than $20. Bucks. You got $20 bucks in the Pops. And the other three things are just add-ons. 
So I'll leave a link in the description down below for the Ferrero Market Box and all their details in case you want to check it out. Uh, if you want to drop me a comment, let me know if you like the box. Let me know if you like the pops. Let me know if you like the theme for next month, Rick and Morty. Let me know if you're excited for it. Let me know if you don't like it. Let me know how you like how I'm doing videos or if you don't like them. If you leave a comment, I will reply back to it. But with that said, this has been my Ferrero Market Box for the month of July. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. And please like, share, and subscribe.